In this video, I'm going to be getting the platinum trophy for the granddaddy of Souls games, Demon Souls. And apparently this is one of the more annoying games to platinum in the series, so this should be fun. Just like in Dark Souls, I created my beautiful character and made my way to the first section of the game. Man, this may not be the best Souls game, but it definitely is the most beautiful looking for sure. After parrying my way through multiple enemies, I came across this guy, the Vanguard Demon. Okay, pretty similar to the Asylum Demon. Let's see what we can do here. Immediately after getting obliterated by the Vanguard Demon, we get teleported to the Nexus. Now this place is basically our central hub, pretty much like Firelink Shrine in Dark Souls. Here we can do things like level up, pick up side quests, and travel to each area in the game. In World 1, I started by collecting some trophy related items. I then dodged this massive dragon before making it to the very first boss fight of the game. Okay, the Phalanx, let's get it. There is an item we need to use real quick called Pine Resin. There we go. Now with our flame sword okay hang on hang on hang on with our flame sword we do more damage to these guys i thought that fire is his weakness oh yes there we go all right so fire is his weakness let's go that's all i needed to know bink bink let me not get cornered Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Roll, roll, roll. The boss fight was going very well until this happened. Wait, no, he's healing. What do you mean? Bro, no way he does that every time. Are you serious? What a garbage mechanic. Can I firebomb him? Okay, the firebombs kind of go crazy. The firebombs go crazy. Hold on. I can just cheese him. I'm literally cheesing the boss. All right, we're back where we uh, started. Don't heal now. I need you to play fair. Come on, he's almost dead. There we go. Nice. Phalanx trophy. Okay, the first boss. Let's go. After slaying the Phalanx, I made my way over to the second boss of the game, the Tower Knight. Now, this boss in particular was actually very difficult as I had to do a challenge associated with the boss. In this boss fight, there's about 10 archers that fire at you from every direction, and I have to defeat the boss without taking out any of the archers for a missable trophy. Let's get it. And he attacks right away. Oh my god. This is brutal. Oh my god. We literally can't move for anything. If we stop moving, it's GG. That's it. Okay, he's down. Let's go. Huge damage. If I do this first try, I'm going to be so surprised. Stop missing the magic, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this is so brutal. All right, he's down again. He's down again. Come on, move, move, move. No, man, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of the way. Heal, heal. He's so close. Come on. Come on. Is this it? God, this is so stressful. I need him to slam. Come on, slam your shield. But just as I thought I was about to beat this boss, the worst thing that could happen to any Souls player happened. No, are we? Di we died. No freaking way. Are you? Bro. He was one tap, dude. And what you are seeing now is the reason why this is one of the worst Souls games I've ever played. This is the run back for the Tower Knight boss fight, and it is insanely long. And sadly, these long run backs are going to be a common occurrence throughout the game. This fight is terrible, bro. He's so unpredictable. And I don't even know how he's hitting me half the time. How that didn't hit me. That did not hit me. That was fake. That was fake. Come on. Get as much damage in here as we can. Come on. Kill him. Is he dead? Come on, is he dead? He's dead. Let's go. Just don't die. Don't get sniped. Tower Knight's trophy. And we should get another trophy here. One shall fall. There we go. Shortly after that, I wanted to pick up an easy trophy for a change. So I made my way to World 4 where we would fight the Adjudicator boss. All right, this should be the next boss, the Adjudicator. There we go. There's two trophies I can get here. One for defeating the boss and one for defeating the boss without knocking him over. Basically, what that means is I have to use magic to get headshots on him and that will earn us another trophy. We're pretty much just trading. It's just I attack. He attacks. This is stupid easy. The magic in this game just makes the trophy easy mode, which I don't know if that's a good thing, but I'm all for having an easy time. Okay. And dead. That should be two trophies right there. Adjudicator's trophy. And one shall stand. Okay, there we go. Come on, man. That was way easier than Tower Knight's trophy, that's for sure. I then ran into this giant armored spider on World 2, but spoiler alert, he was really easy. That boss was a cakewalk. Armor spider trophy. But enough of the easy bosses. It was time for an actual challenging fight once again. All right, this boss should be a cakewalk because I spent a lot of time grinding levels and finding some new gear. The next day, the motherfucker was dead. Flame lurker. Okay, let's see what you got. 
All right, well, and I don't think I've ever been more humbled in my entire life because this boss absolutely rinsed me. Jesus Christ, this boss. But I wasn't about to give up. So a few attempts later, this happened. Where are you going? What is this boss doing, dude? Bro's playing leapfrog in the corner over there. What is he doing? There you go, big dummy. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Oh my god, this guy is insane. Bro, please. Who hurt you? Dodge. You see, that is so dumb. You can't dodge it. You can't dodge his attacks. Rolling is just not it. Come on. Huge damage. Huge damage. I'm finishing you off with a melee. Come here. Boink. Let's go. Out of my game. Flame Lurker's Trophy. There it is. All right, that boss was tough. So now we have to come over here, talk to our blacksmith friend, and we have to give him the Searing Demon Soul. There you go, my friend. And there it is, Road to Possibilities. And once again, we are faced with another boss that could award us two trophies. Oh my god. Okay, he is a big boy. And he just punched me through the wall. I appreciate that. All right, so I think I have to run over here and activate this harpoon gun. Oh god, press it. Quick. Oh yeah, hit him with that. Oh, oh, he's pissed. He is mad. Break this quick. Run, 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 run. Get to it. Come on, press it. Hit him again. Think. All right, so now we got to finish him off with these two, like, hammer fist things. These are called the hands of God, and we got to finish this beast with them. So we have to get him low with magic. Now we just punch him. There we go. He is down. Fists of legend. And Dragon God's trophy. With the Dragon God defeated, I decided to go back to World 1, as a new part of the area has now been unlocked. Here, I rescued a prisoner named Bior. He will come into play later for another trophy. And I had to rescue another NPC out of this tower that I came across. Alright, so for this trophy, we're going to be sneaking into a Fat Official hideout. And as you can see, I have the full set for the Fat Official. So we should be able to just sneak up here and get full access to whatever's here. Drop the bridge for me, buddy. Hey, thank you, my buddy. How you doing today? You are are absolutely hideous good luck getting back up the stairs fatty uh oh wait whoa wait whoa, whoa wait no what is this i'm i'm actually stuck this game's garbage i'm actually stuck i actually glitched the game what just happened to my body think get out of here witch in the tower and we get that trophy from rescuing this witch right here and remember that dude i rescued earlier he will play a huge part in this next boss fight this next boss is called the penetrator and you're about to find out why he's named penetrator what are you talking hey. about let's see oh he's i don't think he's doing good okay that's the boss dude this guy looks so cool yes we have our friend bior to help us let's get him bior oh he's getting rinsed right now He's getting rinsed right now. This magic's too much for him. He's stunlocked. He can't even move. Okay, we do have to kill this boss before he kills Bior over there. Okay, back up. Let me get my hits in. Nope. Okay, hold on. Jesus. Brothers in Arms trophy. Dude, Bior did all the work. Yeah, let's go, buddy. And Penetrator's Trophy, okay. This guy went in. It was now time for me to explore World 3. Now, this area kind of sucks, but it is far from the worst, as an area we would be exploring later on is probably one of the worst areas in the Souls series. But back to World 3. All right, so for this trophy, we gotta get through this little arrow trap here without getting annihilated by these arrows. Oh, so let's see what happens. Let's start going. Oh God, oh God, just keep rolling. <laughs> How do you do this? After many attempts later, I finally figured it out. Is that it? Time for rolling. There we go. After getting past the arrow death trap, I rescued an NPC named Sage Freck. Doing this rewarded me with another trophy. With that NPC freed, I was ready for the first boss of World 3. So we have to beat this boss without defeating any of her clones. All right, here we go. She teleports, and then we have to find the real one. The real one doesn't have a health bar. So yes, this is the real one right here. Here she is in the middle. All right. No, dude. Get out of that trap. This is the real one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That damage is crazy. She's almost dead. All right. One more phase. This has to be her. Yep. It's her. Come on. Finish her. Is that it? Fool's Idol Trophy. Let's go. And the Not Fooled Trophy. A little bit after defeating that boss, I picked up a brand new spell. And as you will see in this next fight, it is insanely broken. All right, so here we are at one of the hardest boss fights in the game. Let's see how much damage it does to this boss. All right, the man eater. Let me get a dodge. There we go. Use it. Oh my, we deleted him. And then fill up our mana. All right, use it. The damage. Oh my gosh. Absolutely obliterated. The man eater's trophy. That was insane. All right. Next boss, the old monk. Oh, hey, buddy. Say goodnight. Take this firestorm. 
Oh, he got launched all the way out of it. Okay. Some melee attacks then. Okay, he hits kind of hard. Buddy, do me a favor and just leave me alone. I'm trying to heal my magic. Just rolled past me. Oh my god, this guy sucks. Okay. Okay, he's getting better at the game, I guess. No, what the- Oh my god, bro, really came behind me and finished me like that. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I'm about to do you dirty with this firestorm. And firestorm, you're dead. That's right, stupid. Old Monk's Trophy. Give me that. From there, I made my way back to World 4 to do some more cleanup. And use this. And then get some more hits in. Oh, he's stunned. Bro didn't even stand a chance. Literally. Old Hero's Trophy. Oh my. Yo, this game is getting so easy. I then rescued this NPC named Umbasa for another trophy. We then run into what I think is the coolest boss in the game. Is this another boss fight right away? Oh, a cutscene. It's another boss fight right away, of course. Why wouldn't there be another boss fight? The Storm King, okay. Oh my, dude, these guys are getting evaporated. Oh my God, we're one hitting them. Oh my God. Dodge. All right, heal. We got, f we have to make sure we carefully take out all of these guys so we don't get sniped, okay. Once everybody is dead, there's a weapon that we have to pick up to kill the boss with. Where is the weapon at? Is this it? Nope. No. Oh my god, please. Okay, this has to be it over here. Is this it? Yep. This is definitely a weapon. All right, the storm ruler. But how do we actually damage this guy? Can I lock onto him? Garbage. I don't understand. How do you attack this guy? Okay, here he comes. Dodge all of that. Oh my. Where are we being shot from? Okay. Oh yeah. Hold on. We're getting damaging now. We're getting damaging now. Let's go. Half as hell. Let me get my attacks in on you. Come on. Come on. One more. Let's go. Storm King is down. Storm King's trophy. Get him out of here. With the Storm King defeated, it was now time to step into the worst area in the game. World 5. Now, not only is there a swamp section, but the enemies in this area absolutely suck. I wanted to complete this area as fast as possible, so that's what I did. Use it. Let's go delete that boss leech monger trophy man i actually feel bad for him and the second boss of this area also got the same treatment but the third and final boss of this location was actually pretty unique as there was a secret trophy tied to this boss okay so this is the next boss we have to defeat this maiden right here but she has a bodyguard with her that will protect her at all times we have to defeat her without killing this bodyguard how are we gonna do that i have no idea we'll figure it out so let's have him hit we'll get behind him do that perfect and once he's staggered we just run away and once we get over to her use firestorm She's dead. That should be it. Did we do it? Maiden Astrea's trophy. And this man's still alive, so we should get another trophy here. Yeah, you failed to protect her, buddy. May you be unharmed. That was fairly simple. All right, so for this trophy, we have to pick up that item right over there. But we have to defeat these guys here. And these guys definitely hurt. Get this guy out of here. Use magic on this one. Garbage. Use magic on this one. Game, come on. And then we can just delete this guy over here. Come here, buddy. Bop. Bop. And then we take this spear right here. Trophy? One of the few. Obtain Israel. But enough of that terrible place. I had to go back to World 4 in order to pick up another side quest trophy. Basically, this guy lost his sword and he wants me to find it for him. Surely nothing could go wrong, right? Hey, buddy, I got your sword for you. I mean, enjoy it, man. You got your sword back. I'm happy for you. Wait, what are you doing? Worthy of the sword trophy, but hang on. I don't want to have to do this to you, buddy. All right, you messed around and find out. Here you go. Oh, wait, here. Hold this. Toss him out the flame. All right, I'll give you a fair fight. Swing. And get backstabbed. I'm sorry. I don't know why you did that. After that side quest was completed, I went back to World 1 and made my way to the final boss of the game. Who are these guys? You guys really think you have a chance against me? Okay. All right, well, take this. Hold on, you guys are cornering me. I'm gonna do it again. I'm doing it. Hold this. Yo, this lady with the bow is actually making me mad. Hold on. You really just want to go hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay. Take these hits. Oh, you running now? Here. Bop. Get him out of here. And since you got a shield, I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to do it to you. He's just walking through the fire like a boss. Are you serious? Bro, you are so annoying. Go ahead. Do a hit. Is this really what we're doing? I'm going to do you dirty. I'm going to do you dirty. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Give me that loot. And now for you, you want to sit back here and shoot arrows at me all day. Back shots. Yes, sir. How are they just phasing through my fire? Get her out of here. Bink. 
I don't think so. Get out of here. Who are you? Freaking ninjas here, man. He just did a backflip off the stair. Another phantom in the way. You are no match for me, phantom. Give me your worst. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fair fight and you still got dominated. Slaying through all of his defenses, we finally made it to the boss room. Okay. Now this should be the final boss of the game, so let's see how this goes. This boss would prove to be an actual challenge for me, as he was mostly immune to magic, so I had to fight him like a man. Old King Alance. Okay, come at me, buddy. Give you this magic. Okay, well, I think he's immune to magic because that did low-key no damage to him. All right, let's see what this melee does, though. Okay, even the melee kind of sucks. Dodge. Oh, he did big damage, dude, bro. Oh no, run! AoE attack! Oh my god! How big is that AoE? That AoE attack is insane that he does. Run! Run, man, run! Take these freaking hits in. I think melee is the best option here. Come on, we're so close. He's so close! Oh, run! What is that? What was that attack? Dodge! Hit him! Die! Die! Let's go! Is that it? Second phase or anything? Nope. False King's trophy. That's it. Slayer of Demon, the False King. Oh my gosh. We actually first tried him. Now that the final boss was defeated, I had to clean up some missable trophies before beating the game. And some of these missable trophies were actually pretty cool. Okay, so for this trophy, we actually become the boss for this fight here. So what we're gonna do is wait for the player to come through the fog wall, and we're just gonna lay it on him. Oh, here he comes. Use the firestorm. Where'd he go? There he is. Let's go, buddy. Get these hits. Oh, we are way stronger than this poor guy. Come on. There we go. Unwelcome guests. I feel bad for that guy. I then help another player defeat a boss, which I thought was pretty cool. And before completing the game and stepping into New Game Plus, I had to do a little bit of farming so that I wouldn't get obliterated on my second playthrough. All right, guys, so I did a little bit of off-camera farming, just a little bit. So uh, I think we're good for New Game Plus. So I made my way to get the first ending of the game. Okay, so I guess this way is towards the final boss. I thought we were finished with the game, but I guess not. So here we go. We're at the final boss. King Alant. Oh, what? What are you? You're a slug? Oh my goodness, this is even sadder than the Dark Souls 1 final boss. All right, well, I'm putting you out of your misery. There you go. I'm sorry that had to happen to you, but we're done. That should be it. The final boss defeated. So we got to pick this up for a trophy as well. Let's remove that. In this first ending, our character becomes an absolute menace, as you are about to see. Okay, so this lady pretty much used us through the entire game. So we're just going to take her out. Bop. Seekest Soul Power Trophy. We get that by taking out the Maiden. I'm so- Oh my- We don't have to be that brutal. And there we go. That's the first ending done. Okay, so we're back here again. I used the save backup so that we can just knock out the other ending really quick. And instead of killing her, we're just gonna leave for the other ending. And there we go. That was the second ending. The reason we had to do that is because we get the Maiden and Black Demon Soul, which we need for another trophy. After that, I ran through the game once again, collecting the last few items and trophies that I needed. One for crafting the Northern Regalia Sword. Another for from obtaining all miracles in the game, and this one for collecting every spell. And this platinum does not end on a happy note, as we have to do something so messed up in order to get the platinum trophy. Okay, and now all there is left to do is to become a murderer. We're gonna do something really messed up, but it's for a trophy, so it's worth it. So everybody that we have freed in the game, we have to kill them for their loot. I don't know why the game is set up to be this way, but uh, that's just how it plays out. I'm sorry, Umbasa. Rest in peace, Umbasa. But that's what we need right there, the Ring of Devout Prayer. And now, we just need one more ring until we have the Platinum Trophy. So we gotta talk to this lady right here, and she's pretty much an assassin. She's gonna give us contracts to do, and after we do that, she will give us the final ring. So we're gonna say yes. She wants us to kill Sage Freck. I'm sorry this has to happen. Thank you for all of your great magic. And there's our first reward. So now we have to find and kill Patches, which I'm completely fine with. All right, let's go find Patches. Patches, my man. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah, you're gonna die soon. And here he is, Patches. I'm sorry this had to happen, my friend, but you will not be scamming anyone else. Yeah! You get what you deserve. I'm sorry, Patches. I'm really not, but. And now we have to kill one more person, Yuria the Witch. Get this work. Thank you. All right, Mrs. Assassin. The work is done. I've done your bidding. Oh, we have to kill her. We got the King of Rings, though. Hold up. I think we just got the platinum. There it is. Slayer of Trophies. Demon Souls Platinum Trophy. 
Let's go! Out of my game. And there we have it. The Platinum Trophy for Demon Souls. This was actually really fun. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see me Platinum the game that came out after this game, Dark Souls, click the video on screen now.